30 seconds left. I've got a king. I've got a dragon. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Come on. Oh, no. 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 Oh. Ugh. Ugh. All right, 20 seconds. Come on, king. You got this. Come on. Time's two speed. You got the 10 seconds. No. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Uh, that's my life. Okay, here's the base I just failed on, and Mula, our uh, t number 21, attacked his counter, was which was actually a cleanup. Uh, from my failed hog attack on this base, and he's going to use dragons, which is kind of amazing. So he is uh, cleaning up corners, using his king to clean up a few corners as well, and then he's just going to line up dragons and push them right on through the base. It's quite amazing that he was able to dragon this base. I, I suck with dragons, y'all. I, I have no idea why, but I just can't use dragons to save my life, and apparently my base's life either but there you go the line of dragons going straight through the base he's gonna um, lightning and earthquake that back uh, air defense so he's got two air defenses and an air sweeper to deal with he's gonna poison spell that clan castle in the balloons those max balloons just go straight in both the air defenses are down already and as soon as his air sweeper is done it's over I mean he's got drag he's got a dragon go around the corner he had a dragon, or he had the king going around this other corner, but he died. And now he's just got a line of dragons that's going straight through this base. It's, I mean, Mula, man. I mean, I think he's Moa Monster is his other account. This might be his second account. I'm not too sure. Correct me on that if I'm wrong, buddy. But anyway, uh, really awesome dragon attack. I mean, I couldn't have pulled this off because all of my dragons, no matter what, if I lay them out straight and send them into the base, they're going to clump up and go after the king and get shot down by the air defense. Every time. I mean, it's like, uh, I, I'm the worst attacker. I'm getting better. I'm learning, but I'm, I'm not I'm not good at, at attacking. But look at this, guys. He finished the attack with like seven dragons left, and all it took was some amazing deployment <laughs> from him and some max loons. So that was the first attack of this war recap, guys. Let's check out the second one. And uh, yet another base that I personally failed on. All right, so Mary, this is Casey, she went ahead and earthquake and bolted the same air defense that I did. And uh, this is so far the exact same thing I did, except for better deployment and uh, wiser use of her balloons. Because as you can tell, she's got some balloons in the clan in her, uh, in her deployment area. She's got four less balloons than I did, actually. And I know she has a clan castle full of balloons as well. But she's sending all these dragons in to hopefully take out this air defense. And also all of the, uh, you know, archer towers and stuff. As you can tell, the first of all, the sweeper serving no purpose. So, Mateus, recommend you change that. Also, this air defense over here is surrounded by no air targeting defenses except for this one wizard tower and so using your balloons just right you can come in you can take out this air defense no problem um my problem was i i released all my balloons over here and used my clan castle over here on the west side and it didn't work out but uh you know dragon still going through the uh dr the castle clan castle dragon was dropped as well and now because of the uh previous scout you know there's a tesla right here i didn't know that was there I released mine from this western side, she released hers from the northern side, and cleared through that so quickly. Amazing, amazing attack. Uh, awesome Town Hall 8 attack uh, with dragons and balloons. Uh, back, back door, backhand, balloon attack, whatever you call it. Um, I was corrected last time. I, I like backdoor dragon better, to be honest with you, but or backdoor loon. But you know, it's not up to me. Anyway, there goes a sweeper, and I think this bull. Yeah, okay. So this um, wizard tower is the last defense alive that can do anything to dragons. Did y'all see that seeking air mine, dude? It was like a sniper. It was like I'm going to get you, and it just went. It just went for a while. But look at this. We've got a group of three dragons. They're just going to sweep through the base. This wizard tower, it'll do a little damage, but it's not going to do anything. Let's speed up the attack by two and uh, watch these dragons just systematically blow through this base. 
over here, gold storage, one, two, three, uh, cannon, one, two, three, wizard tower, one, two, three, the king even, I mean, you didn't need to do that, guys, but <laughs> they did anyway, and then this town hall, eight, going down, melt that snow, buddies, and then we will finish this off with this spell, whatever it's called, um, there you go, so, good job, Casey, that was an awesome attack, and, and you did everything right that I screwed up, so, very good, very awesome. Let's move on to some bases that I did not attack. Town Hall 9 attacks. Okay, King Plu is going to come in here with some uh, hogs and a golem and a Valkyrie and all kinds of cool stuff against their number 10, Pakoka. I think this was a cleanup attack, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, draw out the clan castle, use a couple of poison spells, tear those things down. And um, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but my clan chat has been going insane this whole time. I think I had like 25 messages after that last attack replay. But uh, anyway, clan castle is dropped. I like the way this attack looked. That's the only reason I'm showing this attack. It was a great attack, but just the the, the way it was done was just, was just classy. It was just very classy. So let's go in here and uh, let's start off with our golems. We got one right here, one from the clan castle draw. All of this damage coming in and of course a few wizards to to clean up just you know the standard beginning to a go attack whatever the go is go ho go below gova whatever and uh we even have the one token balloon in the in the deployment section here but uh wall breakers get into that section golem's gonna go in there send a few uh valkyries and also your king and your queen uh, King Plu, I, you did a great job, buddy. Um, but uh, a few Valkyries going off to the eastern side there. You got a group in the middle, but I love this attack. You got two Valks that kind of go off to the side. We'll be able to look at both of them here. And these these two really just go go Rambo on this base because they're just. Uh, I don't want to miss the, the hog deployment over here, but these two just go over here on the side, go all rogue, and just wreck the base. And of course, the enemy queen is down while our king is down as well. And our queen, who is in the heal spell, uh, that's a jump spell, will uh, you know be tanked for by the golem. But I love how those hogs were deployed, just kind of like a like a sweep of hogs just tearing up the base. And look, look at their pathing. So, let me back up a little bit. So, they started on this west side. There's nothing to the south central. So, they're just going to sweep clockwise from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. It's just a, it's a clean sweep. From here to there, King is going to use a special ability and get into that centered compartment. Just take out that clan castle just for funsies. And that one loon was deployed as well. I love how the Valks came around here. They did a little cleanup. You have the hogs that just came around. That one balloon did get dropped by that air bomb or that sweeper or that air, uh, air uh, seeking air mine. I'm not sure which one it was. But now, now that they've come all the way around to three o'clock, they're going to go right back around and they're going to meet up probably over here at nine o'clock again. Just a really, really neat deployment. Uh, this raid this is just a pretty raid. Now we just have a bunch of cleanup. The king has all of his little buddies running around. A ton of hogs are still alive and uh cleanup attack yes but beautiful i enjoyed watching it figured you would too so there goes um the last of the few buildings there the king a whole bunch of hogs there's a minion you know what the heck where'd that minion go? i didn't even notice there was a minion <laughs> but there you go that last one is going to drop and this barrack is the icing on the cake put the cherry on top of that sunday there's your three star attack 100 percent from king plu on pakoka from the Peregrino clan. Let's move on to our final attack of this war recap. And Matthew will be attacking Livia Paola with a winky face. And starting out, obviously, with your hog, you want to pull that clan castle out there. You got a dragon and a couple of balloons. Poison spell them, hoes. And, uh, <laughs> hoes. It's a dragon. Come on. A couple of balloons, too, really. Not home material. But anyway, there goes the dragon and a couple of balloons. And another poison spell dropped on there. So that dragon should drop fairly quickly. And uh, we will start this Goho raid here in a bit. Um, I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we got our clan castle golem in the middle. Probably some giant bombs right there. And another golem on this side aiming for that archer tower. And uh, we're hoping to get rid of this cannon right quick and uh, let that golem tank those giant bombs over there. I'm assuming, or Tesla, uh, if it was Tesla, they'd already pop. Um, 
Wahlberg is into that center compartment there, and the Golem's going to go around. <laughs> Look at that. Giant bomb, just like I said. So, jumping spell, going to take us into the compartment. we got an Air Defense, Wizard Tower, Mortar, and the Archer Queen at Tesla, all in that one section. I think the King is in the right place. The Archer Queen's going to come in here, take out that Air Defense. The enemy Queen just dropped, I believe. Yep. And uh, now we can start our Hog Deployment. So, uh, we're going to go with a counterclockwise deployment starting on the western side and bring it all the way around. Matthew's pretty much a pro at these hogs. You guys watch uh, he'll spell right in the correct place. I mean, you know, all all the hogs are in the middle of that uh, he'll spell. He'll probably drop another one around this area just because I feel it. I'm feeling it. Come on, buddy. Prove me right. Okay, he'll spell a little further over. See, that's what makes him the expert. <laughs> a couple of wizards dropped up there for cleanup and just kind of like the last attack you know the hogs are kind of deployed on the west side they'll sweep around and end up on the eastern side and then they'll turn around and probably go the other direction but uh last defenses here a tesla and archer tower and a cannon cannon drops tesla drops archer tower drops and now simple cleanup the the, the heel spell deployment or the heel spell dropping and the hog deployment were definitely the key for this raid matthew like i said he's pretty much an expert and he's teaching me things every time he watches me fail. <laughs> uh, last time it was mostly about my heel spell. The dropping was just terrible. But uh, anyway, there was a giant bomb and only two hogs were, were affected. Pretty good. Pretty awesome. Uh, there's a dark spell factory way over there. And uh, looks like they'll finally go out. Oh, that's 99%. That town hall dropped. And the last of the... Look at all those hogs that are still alive. And that was a... And that was Matthew going up from 8 to 6. Three star war attack. Good job, man. Awesome go ho. I hope to be half as good as you one day, buddy. Actually, I hope to be just as good as you eventually. I'm not going to lie. But, <laughs> I mean, the odds of that are they're pretty slim. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Hopefully, I get to, uh, you know, upload another video before New Year's. But we are going out of town and I won't be able to upload anything probably this entire weekend. Uh, but, you know, y'all should be with family and friends and stuff playing with new toys than uh, watching videos. But even if you do watch videos, I got a lot. Watch the old ones. But anyway, guys, <laughs> I hope you caught that um, iTunes gift card code somewhere in the video. And if you didn't catch it, watch the video again. Really watch because it's going to pop and it's going to go away. You need to pause it and you find that code. But anyway, guys, once again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Check out all of our social media down below. I will be, you know, trying to be active a little bit on that over the Christmas break. But uh, like and subscribe. Love you all. See you soon. Peace.